What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode 67 of our Minecraft Let's Play here. And I figured I'd just pop on out and check out the statue that, you know, we built last episode. And, you know, this is, of course, to all 250 of you that subscribed. Now, as of filming this, we're already back at 286. <laughs> so, you know, you guys keep smashing that subscribe button, and hopefully we'll be putting up a 500 subscriber monument pretty soon. Now, what I want to do today is actually what we were supposed to do last episode, but, you know, we had to take a little detour, build a monument, and, you know, I'm cool with that. <laughs> so let's head over to where we're actually going to build today. And, of course, where we are building is over at our factory. And by factory, you know, that's just our little farming area here with our automatic machines. Now, if you guys didn't see the episode, in here we have our melon, pumpkin, sugarcane, and bamboo farm. And the bamboo farm is just to get ready for 1.20 when, you know, all that bamboo stuff comes out. And then down here we have a storage system. So what I want to do today is build up the facade or the front and we're going to build it like a factory. And then down here we're going to make this into a cool looking storage room. And I actually went into creative mode and planned to build. Yes, I plan to build in creative mode. So <laughs> we can actually just rock and roll on this build and to top it off, I actually have the materials that we need, at least for this part, right here. How awesome is that? I actually did something proper for a change. So, uh, this build that we're going to do, like I said, it's going to be a front of a factory, and it's going to be 12 blocks wide, which I know is kind of unusual for Minecraft building in even numbers, but sometimes you have to do that so what we need here is we need to make some walls and we're going to take out some granite and this is going to be basically a very simple factory it's not going to be like overly complicated or anything like that so i want to actually start one block in front of what we're going to be building and that's because i'm going to be using a lot of fences and if i don't they'll connect and it'll make the block look all weird so we'll come back down here and we'll just grab four blocks there and then this is going to be our quote-unquote loading dock and I figured you know we could have a little fun with this one so that's one two three four and then if we come over here we can go one and then just build this straight across to here and then what we'll do is drop back down and then what I want to do for a wee bit of detail is use these and just kind of make that poke in a bit now if we hop out here and take a look at this you guys will see what i'm talking about see now when we go back over top of the block there'll be that little bit of indent there and that will give us just a hint of detail i think that'll look pretty neat i actually built that wrong we are gonna have to go over here and knock this down and come over here Oop. and bring this down to here Okay, cool. And then what we got to do is simply just come up here with this and extend this one more. And then, like I said, we can go ahead and just bring this clear on over here. And this will basically take care of our garage door. The only thing I want to do to add a little bit more to it is. I want to make a garage door, but I want to make it a little bit different than what you would normally think. And there we go, the garage door is in and it even has the little windows, so you know if a truck's waiting out here for to get loaded, well, then you're ready to go. And I kind of want to toss these behind it. Granted, you're not really going to see them, and it's technically a waste of an emerald block. And this is just to remind us that this factory is basically, you know, everything we can use to trade and get emeralds. So, I mean, I'm not going to really, you know, lose any sleep over two emerald blocks. I'm going to build up the rest of this side, and then I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. And here is the front of our factory, mostly finished. And the reason I'm saying mostly finished is because I want to add a hair bit more detail into it. And what I'm saying by that is, of course, we have brick, and we do have the texture pack for brick, so it kind of breaks up, you know, the monotony of the brick color. But I actually want to go ahead and, if I can break this, toss in some of these every now and again. And this is just granite, which looks really good with brick. It looks almost like a weathered brick. So if you take a couple of these out, grab those, and 
on the plus side, it does save you some brick too. So, you know, brick can be a commodity, especially if you don't have a trading post like we do. So we'll go ahead and just toss some of these in. We ain't got that many, and you don't have to put that many in there. So like, we'll do like, maybe like a little L shape here. Did I jump and get that? Ooh, I did. All right, and you guys can see just how that little bit of texture variation kind of like, you know, it draws the eye away and it doesn't make it look so flat, so to speak. So, you know, pretty cool. And then over here behind the door, I just went ahead and put a strip dark oak and I made these like connect to it so it opens up the doorway a little bit more. And then we just hung a lantern. And of course, we got some gravel here for our delivery truck. You know, if he ever decides to show up, he hasn't shown up in forever. But we got the path in. So I'm going to call the front of the factory done. Now, I do want to update the map, of course. And there we go. So, I mean, a cool little map. And you can even see the black dots from these, which is kind of weird because they're not that big. But, all right. So, next up, we want to, of course, make an entrance into the storage system because, well, we need to get the stuff after we, you know, harvest it. And that is down here. Now, I did actually go ahead and plan this out, too. And I know what you guys are thinking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is weird. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually planning stuff out. And uh, it's actually working out for me pretty good so i gotta clear out a little bit of space here and what this design is going to be is actually uh glazed terracotta which is something i don't think we've ever used and stone walls and acacia so it's going to be something different probably something a lot of you haven't seen before and i'm hoping i mean i think it looks pretty cool <laughs> so hopefully you guys will think the same thing so let me go ahead and clear this room out and then we can go ahead and get started all right, now that we've got a little bit of this room cleared out, we can start to go ahead and put the general design down. So what we're going to do for this is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and bring up some acacia logs like so. And we'll just do this in between every single set of chests. Yeah. And what we'll do on top is just a slab across, just so you know we kind of can't see too much redstone going on back here. And then on the corners here, what we're going to do is, of course, bring those up again and then we're going to mine out a bit of this wall right here and what we're going to do for this is actually run over here and grab it because I don't have any but we're going to put stone walls here and that'll kind of give the same effect that we had up there in that it'll be you know kind of indented so if we go like that you guys can see how it gives that little bit of variation in the wall and you know i think that'll look pretty cool so let me go ahead and get all the you know little parts in here and then we'll start the floor which is what i'm most excited about because i think it looks really really cool <laughs> well i recorded myself putting the floor in but evidently minecraft music is the loudest thing known to man and it actually completely buried my voice <laughs> so i had to adjust the music down so you guys can actually hear me now but here is our current storage room as we have it. So we went with, of course, white and orange glazed terracotta. And it's just such a different block. And you guys never see it anymore. Like you saw it like when it came out and that was it. So I really like how this turned out. It's bright and colorful. And then of course we have, you know, all of our items in here. And then you guys saw the walls and everything, which I think is pretty cool. It gives us that wee little bit more of detail. So. Like I said, definitely enjoying this small build. And then what I'm gonna do is put lanterns in here eventually. I'm not sure if I wanna hang them from the ceiling or you know, just put them on the floor, so to speak. So that'll be something we'll do you know, maybe another time because I wanna work on the entrance to this thing. So what I wanted to do is basically, I just want this to be like an entrance to the sewer, like a sewer grate drain kind of thing. And, you know, really for no reason in particular, I just think it'd look like a cool little side entrance, kind of like our secret, you know, hideaway thing. So <laughs> I got to terraform a little bit of this, I'm thinking, and I got to bring this out a bit because we're just going to use an iron door, which I don't have on me, but we're going to use an iron door. That way, if I go AFK over here, I don't have to worry about mobs breaking the door down because I'm pretty sure they don't break down iron. I don't think so, at least. So, yeah, we'll just end up doing that. Well, that was quick, simple, and easy to get our little entrance in. So, I mean, like I said, it was going to be nothing spectacular. Just a nice little side entrance, kind of looking like a sewer coming out from the hill. Maybe we'll do a little bit something more with this up here later on. But for now, this entrance will work. we got a little lantern here, of course, you know, to keep the mobs away. And then we just walk down in here. And I went ahead and hung the lanterns from the ceiling for now. 
Let me know if you guys have a better idea or if you just, just think plain torches will do, which I mean, I think either or work. So just let me know down below. But yeah, this takes care of our factory build, our storage room and our little entrance. So, I mean, a nice little area here, nice and quaint. And then I went and did some landscaping. I put some pine trees in just, you know, to make it look a little nicer. I, th I like pine trees in this area a little bit more. So, you know, that's just me. Definitely enjoyed this build, guys. This is a cool little cool little build. I'm happy we have it in a world. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment. And as always, make sure you subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.